Caleb Levins. Welcome to Mysteries and Histories. In this episode here, what I want to do is I want to show for the first time that no one's ever seen before, except probably a couple of other people or a few other people besides me to seen it. I'm going to show you a film shot by Roger Patterson. Now, when it gets to a certain point, I am going to stop the video. I mean, stop the film is because it shows a person, a certain person, which I cannot talk about right now, but does show a certain person holding up mask when uh, Roger Patterson went to British Columbia. He was holding up the mask and stuff. And the reason why I want to show this is everybody talks about where the Roger Patterson, you know, uh, got his film developed at. And when I came across this film here, and I viewed it, there are probably a good possibility where Roger Patterson actually got the original PG film developed at, even though they claimed it was done in Salt Lake, I mean, in Seattle, Washington. But this film here that Roger Patterson shot in British Columbia, he had this film made and uh, developed in British Columbia. Here is frames from the beginning of the film and as you see here they have a stamp print on the film itself which you'll see as it goes by real fast in the film this is a side by side of each one of the frames and stuff this film was British Columbia film approved that's what the stamp is on this film British Columbia film approved so this film was actually made in British Columbia. It was filmed in British Columbia and it was made in British Columbia. Now, these two images here are up to date images, but these are two images that's seen in the film that you're about to see. But I'm gonna cut it off before it gets that part because it's got a certain person in there. And that person is holding up some tribal mask. You get the front view, side view, up view, bottom view and stuff like that. Because when you're making a copy of a face piece or a, uh, a mask, what you do is you want to get the side view, front view, top view, and stuff. So if you're going to make an identical mask, you can see from different angles of how it looked. So when you make a copy of it, you can actually, you know, make that yourself. But these two, these up here where the cursor is, this one here and this one here, this is what's actually seen on the film. And then these down here shows you exactly it was filmed in British Columbia. And uh, like I said, when I get, I'm going to start playing the film. And then when it gets to a certain part, I want to cut it off because you're going to probably see an arm and a mask. And that's where I'm going to stop it at. Because the rest of it shows a certain person in that in this film, and they're viewing the mask, and they're holding the mask like this. Then the side view, upper view, you know, that's how they hold it. Let's go ahead and start playing this. And as we watch this, like I said, this is the first time this is being viewed on YouTube or anywhere else. That. This is the film that uh, Roger Patterson shot in British Columbia. And you see he's filming the mountainsides. And there's, you know, he films different locations. As you see, him just went by, was that stamp marking on the film, where it was British Columbia film approved. Now, there is no ownership to this film, at least I don't think, you know, there actually ain't because there's not any records on this film because when I received this film and got a copy of it, I wanted to make sure that if there was any copyrights to it, there's no copyrights to it or anything else, not even in the uh, Library of Congress. But in respect, I'm going to stop it when it comes to uh, that part of the person holding the mask and stuff. Now he's filming a lake back here. Pretty late. Went down in the canyon there. Oh, yeah, that's good. That was very beautiful. 
this beautiful sight just standing there just filming it alone. You can smell all that fresh air and stuff. We'll have this set so when it comes up I can stop it before it gets to that part. ready to come up on that part where it shows that person holding the mask and stuff like that. Now we're going to stop it there. Now the rest of the film, like I said, will show a person holding these masks and they take the side view, front view, and stuff like that. I'm going to stop the film here because just as soon as after this, that's when you're going to see that person, and I don't want to start no arguing, no fighting over that stuff. Anyway, two top frames, like I said, right here <clears throat> shows, as you see, I'm blacking that person out right here. Because that person is standing right here when he's, this part of the film is showing that. Which you can see right here, this is the post that sh that, that person was standing beside right here see that painting right behind there but that's a film that no one's really seen and the reason why I'm making this video is just to show them that you know whoever's trying to figure out where the Patterson made his you know got his film developed who knows maybe you know we can come up with speculations that this person I, I know exactly what person made the remake of the film was a &E, but the original film is kind of hard to pinpoint where it was made but as you see in this film here, Roger Patterson, he had this film made and developed in British Columbia because it's got British Columbia film approved. And whoever has this seal, they probably was the ones that made the original PG film or the Patterson Bigfoot film. They probably was the ones that developed that film for him. So I just want to make this video and show this. And like I said, I don't hold nothing back. But in respect to that person, I didn't let the film continue at the very end. Thank you and good night.